Isabella! Where is my wife?
something for you? Can you spare some water? Sure. Your wife? <laughs> no. But she carries a great jug. Who am I shooting at? Her brothers. Five brothers? They must really want you in the family. Brothers, that little one's her husband. Hey, she's stealing my horse. Hey. She wasn't even broke in yet. You're talking about the horse or the girl? Thanks for helping us. Thanks for your horse. It's a long walk back to Hangtown. I just ain't used to walking. I'm out of practice myself. It's too bad. Treat him right, huh? Just like his moon. Nice. <laughs> You're fast with a rope. Comes from playing a lot of guitar. Wait a minute. You mean you got Shaq Clay all trussed up like a side of beef? You ain't gonna kill it? I've got my horse. <laughs> Mr. Either you knew around here, you come from a long line of stupids. Maybe. A long time ago, we uh, stupids financed Columbus. <laughs> Hey, who are you anyway? Joaquin Murieta. Morgan, that cooking sure smells good. That fried grizzly. Jackass rabbit. How much we got between us? Ain't got enough for two peeled potatoes. Unless we. No. One stick of powder. Go hungry. I need the security. Ah, oh, come on. We got enough for one tequila. Come on, Morgan. Doctor in town. I'll try and find one. Let me see that. Let me see it. Oh, who are you? Uh, yes, yeah, she's broke, all right. Are you a doctor? No, ma'am, but I practiced some on a pig one time. Here, wait a minute. Chomp down on that now. <laughs> Shovels off the wagon, will you? You're gonna bury him, three finger? Go get the shovel. Bust the handle in two. Ma'am, you 
may hobble some, but I don't reckon it'll spoil him none. Thank you kindly. Easy does it now. Here, I'm going to need that. Get a hold of him, corn cracker. We'll get him on his feet. What'll it be, honey? Tequila, please. You. Hey, you! With a black hat. Are you talking to me? That gun. Where'd you get it? Another one, please. Please, senor, it's no violence. Ain't gonna be no trouble unless he don't want to talk. The tequila, please. Look, I ask you something, but don't you savvy English. I speak four languages, including the one you abuse. But I choose to whom I speak. You gotta stop drinking, kid. He's got your gun, Shad. <laughs> You ought to have it. He took it off me. He meant to kill you. What does he have against staying young? That is what you meant to do, and that you meant to kill him. For a lousy gun. Your gun. You could have been dead. That's right, I could have. Do you own them? They got a piece of me. That makes them harder to lose. <laughs> you got here fast. You made me want to. You had a chance to gun Shad Clay and you didn't take it? Why? What for? Anybody gun Shad Clay's bigger than Shad Clay. I take three finger over there. He'd trade his grits for a chance. You must throw a white shadow. <laughs> Can't figure out how you keep on breathing all by yourself. You know, Morgan's right. You're gonna take some looking at me. Oh, I don't want a piece of you, Clay. Who's asking you? But if you got that, I won't. Perhaps this. It's still loaded. Hmm. Hi, the Lord. Send him up for everybody, honey. Join me in a glass of tequila, Senor Clay. I am Diego Campos, and I've been empowered by Don Miguel Ruiz to engage you for a mission. He needs men who are good with their guns and not afraid of danger. Looks to me like you came to the right man. I assume you are the uh, leader of these, uh, these men. You could say that. Well, this child ain't saying that. There seems to be some dispute. Oh, there ain't no dispute. It's a flat argument. It's just like I said, Campus. I mean, uh, either you talk to me or you don't get nobody. How many men do you have? How many do you see? You must be deep, Clay. I told you I ain't throwing in with you. These here men are mine. I think so.
true blue, ain't they? Best you can find under a rock. Well, I tell you something, they ain't no good to me unless you're with them. Well, I reckon it won't punish me none to brood it, I might. Why don't you do that? these three for myself. You have eight men. Make it seven. Why don't we just make it eight? You say you talk for this gentleman, uh, what's his name? Ruiz. Ruiz. Can you also spend his money? It'll be more than you can earn looking for gold or uh, robbing some poor miner of his burro. That's not an answer. If Ruiz needs you, then talk to Ruiz. I thought you led these men. Oh, I'll lead them. He just makes my deals for me. Madonna del Santuario. Once a year she is brought from the chapel for this procession. It is said she has miraculous healing powers. <laughs> she draws a better crowd than a bull in a bear fight. Buenas tardes, Doña Mariquita. Their life is their faith. Yes, she will pray. But will it cure her? You are a skeptic, senor. <laughs> the very simplicity of their faith is in itself a miracle. And I would guess that if there were more miracles, there would be fewer offerings. You are also a non-believer, eh? California has been overrun by them. Uh, uh, senores, Don Miguel Ruiz. Don Miguel, Senor Clay, Senor Murieta. I am honored. It's a nice spread you got here. Once it was a land of promise. Now it is overrun with lawlessness and man's lust for gold. Yeah, California's full of scum looking for gold. And listen, we didn't come out here to talk about the old days, did we? Ah, my apologies, Senor Clay. I was in my own thoughts. But we will talk business later. Now you will join me in our celebration in honor of the Madonna. Sounds all right to me. death on a red heart anyhow. Oh, 
thank you, but it really wasn't necessary. Excuse me? Hmm? Would you mind letting me by? enough in one of these to drown a buffalo in that. They're kind of stingy with them, ain't they? Show me how to drink this stuff. <laughs> What's the matter here? Why don't you come on, put it with me? What are you holding out for? Money. Ruiz still hasn't told you what he wants or what he'll pay. Get around to it. He's just trying to soften me up first. And there's no chance of that. <laughs> no chance. Wonder what kind of crow that is. Don't bother, son. This giant will suit me fine. I'll be doggone. Tastes more like hogshank than beef lip. They say I won't plot well, senor. Ain't much to chomp on, but it sure is tender. Quizá una servieta. Hey, them is sure some fine skin. But red's the wrong color. Or you'd be a target for rifle balls as sure as this doggone gun's got hindsight. Hey, dig in, son. Ain't you hungry? Get a piece of that. Ophelia! Lazaro. Ophelia. You're the man steal, huh? Ever figure that maybe you don't have to steal everything? I back in an hour. I don't see no posse looking for me. <laughs> hey, this part is coming to life. You're making me glad I showed. Do I know you, senor? <laughs> if we'd have met you, you'd have remembered it. You might have heard of me, though. The name's Clay, Shag Clay. Not the celebrated senor Clay. You're looking at him. And what are you famous for, senor Clay? Let's just say I do everything pretty good. Um, could we have a demonstration of your talent? Lady, all you had to do was ask. Just dance. Dance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold this for me. Men are magnificent. Senor Clay, may I present my wife? We just met. Oh, come now. Nothing has happened here. Continue. Have a good time. Senor Marietta, my wife. Senora. And what, senor, are your talents? Just one, senora. Survival. Otilia, what do you spare us a few moments? I have business to talk with, Senor Clay. Certainly, Miguel. That's a lot of women. A marriage carries with it certain weighty responsibilities. <laughs> no bet. And now to business? As you probably know, Hardly a night goes by, but we are not attacked by raiders. They're coming after your ranch or your wife. I am not concerned for my own safety. But I can no longer expose my wife to these dangers. So I have arranged for her passage back to Spain from San Francisco. The boat sails in one week. And you want us to get her there, right? It is a perilous journey, my friends. Who would know that uh, the senor is traveling to San Francisco? Do you suppose Don Miguel Ruiz can conduct his life in secret? I am prepared to pay you $15,000 in gold upon your arrival in San Francisco. Now, wait a minute. Who's going to pay us once we get back there? Compass will accompany you. You provide the security, and he will make arrangements for your payment when the mission is complete. Sounds like a pretty good deal. 
but not good enough. I thought you were the one in command, Senor Clay. He makes my deals for me. Uh, that's an expensive package you want delivered, Senor Ruiz. I value my wife. Then I suggest 25,000. Ten now, the rest when we get there. As you wish. Compromiso. You deal pretty good for me. Mm -hmm. And also for myself. How do we figure to split? The usual, half for me, the rest even. We split half, the rest even. It's a lot of money you just cut yourself in on the rest of them, and I feel cheated. Not when you tell them we are partners. You know something? I like you. I can't figure you yet, but I like you. I guess I just have to get used to it. If I can, I'll kill you, partner. Where did you learn how to use that? Some gaucho taught a white boy who showed me how to catch rabbits. You're good with it. Never thought I'd use it on a man. I guess I've done a lot more sinning since I took the freedom. Yorietta. A mí me parece que usted manda estos hombres. You are wrong, Senor Ruiz. I lost my right to command anyone. These are Clay's men, and he commands. Ah, but you are one of us. Us? I belong to nothing, Senor Ruiz. Why must I depend on the Americans for security, when it is they who are trying to drive us from our land? I have more than 50 peones here. What is going to happen to them? Now that it's over, we think of the peones. We expect them to defend our land when we rob them of their dignity. So these are the men, Miguel, you have chosen to escort me. <laughs> I did not choose them for their social graces, my love. Can you trust them? No, I cannot trust them. But Greed Otilia is dependable. All right, ma'am. Let's move it. to leave you behind, Miguel. There are many matters to be settled here. But rest assured, Julia, I will join you. Goodbye, my husband. Senorita! Adios, Juanito. Portate bien. Esté muy bueno con tu hermanita. Flore. Any of them saddle bums give you any trouble, I want to hear about it. A scream.
Why are only the poor so devoted to God? Someone has to pay attention to God. The rich are too busy. Claudina, I will not have your gloom. I brought you along to cheer me up. It's the first time I've left the village since I was born, senor. And don't call me senora. It makes me feel so ancient. From now on, it will be Otilia. Otilia? Claudina, you must forget the ridiculous idea that you are a servant. I am not ashamed to be a servant. No matter how well you treat servants, they always end up feeling abused. Now, on the other hand, friends have an unlimited capacity for abuse. That is what they are for. From now on, we will be friends. No, a lot of this help around what is rulers want to hire us for. They are men of different times, amigo, when it wasn't necessary to know the uses of the gun. Their life is the field, their families, their friends. That don't sound too bad. Nobody don't bother. They have another skill. They can ignore their enemies with compassion. Through here in the Indians that charge you a horse just for passage. And if you didn't pay up, they'd bring you to a cactus and take it out of your hide. I figure it wouldn't take more than about three men to cut a wagon train into how many coming through here. Welcome to San Bernardo, brothers. We have little to offer besides poor bread and wine, but it is yours. Thank you, Padre. If I know these Padres, they stomp for pretty good grape. Where do you think you're going? To pray. Any objections? Look pure enough to me. Spread here, Reverend. This is the mission of San Bernardo, brother. Brother, this just stopped being a mission. Show him the paper, Frankie. Signed, sealed, and official. Hello, Gant. Clay. Frankie? This is Shed Clay. Yeah, I heard about you. I hear you was good a few years back. Just steady. 
Frank, he's grown up some, huh? Yeah. He's fast, too. Is he? I think he could take you, Clay. What's he been practicing on, church balls? You know, you're a little out of your territory, ain't you? You've been moving. I'd say a little too far west. Would you? Hey, you're a long way from pies yourself, ain't you? We're taking over. We got the law on our side. <laughs> so this when did you have anything to do with the law, Gant? Since I started being it. But I do not understand. You question American authority. I am. Who are you? Do you mind if I see that document? It's a beautiful piece of parchment. Almost literate. This uh, Colonel Drake, who signed it, who's he? He's the commandant at Sacramento. <laughs> we don't recognize the commandant from Sacramento. Nobody hurts my boy. Maybe you better tell him to quit impersonating a man. your move, Clay? If I made my move, Gant, you'd be dead. I don't know where you're going, but it's going to be a rough trip. Back here. I didn't. Maybe you're getting soft. This dirt sure feels good. Got the smell of Kentucky in it. Is that where you're from? Part of me. The farmer part? Me a farmer? No. Farmer's a man that catches the crop. Me, I just work the dirt. I worked the dirt for a man so blamed poor I was the only thing he owned. Except for that patch of ground on the hill. Never knew why he wanted to farm on a hill. I used to run out after it rained and put the dirt back with my bare hands. I lift up my eyes into the hills whence cometh my help. He did the praying and I did the planting. Never knew who he counted on most, me or the Lord. <laughs> Master Jim. Never forgot how that sounded. You run away? Once. Came the raining and I kept thinking about all that farm dirt washing down. I went back. How did you happen to uh, team up with Clay? He bought me. $20, cash money. And now you're putting back his dirt. You got it wrong, mister. I said he bought me. I didn't say he owned me. Are you sure Clay knows that? Go get some rest. I'll take your guard. Thanks.
Yes. Insulted the mother of your horse. Huh. You'll find uh, Spanish blood different from what you're used to, amigo. You think I need a guitar, huh? <laughs> Maybe. I'll tell you something. She ain't gonna do nothing she don't want to do. I'll make sure of it. Just interested in getting her to San Francisco safely. Just for the money, right? That's right. You know, I used to play cards with a fella. He didn't know whether he was a dealer or a player. He was softer and hot towel till he got stomped on. Then he turned mean. Except it didn't come natural to him. What happened to him? He got bit by a snake when he was holding four aces. And you buried him proper. Yeah. Could you spare us some food? We got nothing to spare, buddy. Our village was burned down four days ago. They took everything we had. My people are hungry. That's a sad story, Padre, but like I told you, we ain't got nothing to spare. All right, let's move it. They're hungry. You get back in that coach. Senora. Don't be ridiculous, Claudina. Do as he says. You can see they're hungry, Shad. Then let them pray for it. I told you to move it! I'm asking you to give them some food, Clay. You're getting softer, Murrieta. I'm still asking. You feed them today, they'll be twice as hungry tomorrow. But they won't be hungry today, amigo. All right, give them some grub. You know, with the Padre here, you could have been buried in real style. Here, Clay, side by side. Murieta. Joaquin Murieta. Yes, Padre. You with such men. We're trying to live like you are, maybe like those who raided your village. Those who plundered our village killed three of my people. And you did nothing. We buried our dead and pray. Our people need freedom and a leader to help us against those who oppress us. It's too late. Freedom is a powerful wine, Padre. It only makes new tyrants out of old slaves. We sold the people immortality. But we should have also taught them to fight for survival. 
Take your food and go, Padre. Sure pushing your luck going against Shad like that. Still can't figure out why he took you on anyway. You ain't got the character for an outlaw. Oh, I'm working on it. How did you and Clay get together? Stole a horse, they were gonna hang me. Yeah, some horse owners can't live with something like that. Shad came in and broke up the party, and we've been traveling fast ever since. How long ago was that? Two years. And since then, you've been paying him back? Mister, I only got one neck, and I owe him. Ever figure that maybe you only owe somebody a horse? On there. We're gonna have to cut a tree and build a jack. Well, we got Morgan? Get out of there, Morgan. Get that coach up. seem that heavy. Maybe old Master Jim drove a harder bargain than I counted. All right, Yuma, cut that tree, and let's go. It cost me an hour. They kindly be made a fool out of. You got something else you want to say to me? No, you said it all back there. Let me explain something to you, Morietta. If Morgan's bleeding, I earn the right to draw it. He thinks he's a free man. Free? How can he be free? When it's me that's feeding him, looking out for him. I'm scared all the time he's going to get cut up. I... He's no more free of me than I am of him. I told you, Marietta, he, he owns me. Maybe... Maybe he doesn't know that. I'll tell you when he's gonna be free, the one of them. When I don't care about him anymore. When they're wide open to get killed or cheated by Shag Clay, that's when they're gonna be free. <laughs> Okay, you're the opener, Three Finger. Well, how about it? You in or out? Well, how about it, Three Finger? You in or out? You been fatter than a flea on a hound dog. Had these cars blessed by Padre. Arkansas? Two. I'm through. How many you want, Campus? Three. Uh, takes one. Does that mean you didn't like the cards I gave you? It means that I do not like the card you gave yourself, senor. You ain't accusing me of cheating, eh? No. I'm accusing you of dishonor. 
You must want to die, Campos. He dealt himself the ace of spades from the bottom. You have proof. Under the knife. It is I who have dishonored you, senor. How'd you know I didn't cheat him? You didn't have to. He's the worst car player I ever saw. Let's quit John and play cards. It is gold. More than you have ever dreamed of. So, it was the Madonna Senor Ruiz hired us to protect, not his wife. The Madonna and me. Miguel chose wisely, don't you think? What else could he take? You can't ship land or cattle. How convenient. What lie would Senor Ruiz tell the peones when they find her gone? I haven't given it any thought. No, you wouldn't. Isn't your moral tone a bit extravagant for a bandit? I do concede you are in a position to bargain for more money. This can be arranged in San Francisco. But I do think it wise if this were kept only between us. Are you suggesting that I betray Clay? In order to gain an advantage, someone has to be betrayed. Besides, what is Clay to you? He's an animal. But not a fool. You told that right, pal. It's been burning holes in my head, too. Well, what have we got here? I wonder Morgan had trouble lifting this thing. Is she right about this little lady? She can cure a heap of trouble. You weren't fixing to deal me out, were you, Marietta? No one was dealing you out, Clay. Any reason to cut her in? Every reason. I have much to offer, Senor Clay. Yeah, I can see that. I just never had to go that high for her. You still need me. What for? My silence. I do believe your men are as avaricious as I am. Figure it out, senores. A Madonna divisible by only three is so much purer. That's 
a smart enchilada. Well, you just made everybody a partner. You are going to need partners. If Ruiz could steal this, what kind of a party do you think he has ready for us in San Francisco? Why? Who was it that once told me, in order to gain an advantage, someone has to be betrayed? What's all the shooting about? You want to see something pretty? Grab a look at this. That little lady's made of solid gold. Ah. That's what we've been toting. Getting fixed to kill for. She'll get you spread in Stockton, pretty women, and a thousand head of longhorns. She belongs to us now. This is sacrilege. She isn't yours to take. Take? She's supposed to cure people, ain't she? She's going to cure us of poverty. You knew this. She's an ornament, Claudina, nothing more. She belongs to the people. Who else are you going to steal from? All right, you all better get some sleep. We still got a way to go. I'll die first. Yeah, that's your choice. Galvez, you stand guard along with Murrieta. See, we got us one more lady to protect. You know something we're just alike? Only I swear I think you're a bigger liar than I am. I wouldn't feel too small about that. Partners, if that ain't a real shin kicker. By the time you get through paying them out of your share, you ain't gonna have enough left for a shot of cactus juice. trying to stay alive. Can't you understand that? No, I can't understand it. Because you're trying not to kill what you believe in. What? I... She means nothing to me. She's a, a thing made of gold. She's all we have left. What do you expect of me? You felt something when you saw those peones starving on the road. What do you believe in, Joaquin? What I believe in isn't important. Ask me what they believe in. You know, they believe in the Madonna the same as you. You have faith in her smile, they believe in what she's made of. She's more than gold. She's us. Oh, they can burn our villages and rob us of our land. Even our lives. But they can't destroy our faith. She makes us believe in ourselves. You cannot let them do this. How can I stop them? Eight against one. I will help you. What can you do? Pray to the Madonna and ask for a miracle. She can make that miracle. San Francisco. I changed it. May I remind you that you are still pledged to Don Miguel Ruiz? I order you to proceed as you were instructed. How are you going to get me to do that, Campus? Hey, thank God!
boats out of here. Get moving. Get the wagon. thinks that son of his is something very special, doesn't he? I can't figure, man, crowing because his son is fast with a gun. Gan ain't doing nothing but stroking himself proud. Yeah, or grooming him to take clay. <laughs> That's a bright future. All Frank has got to do is find himself some help. But I hear the price of slaves has gone up. You talking about that $20 I owe Shad Clay? You're in deeper than $20, Morgan. You're up to your belly in gold. Let's go. All we got left to do is melt her down. Even if it happened to Clay, he'd feel it. Shad, the one that got me? Murrieta. Murrieta. I haven't been much good to you, have I? I didn't expect any different. We're both servants, Arkansas. You saying I ain't my own man? Are you? Nobody tells me to jump, and you better believe it. Is that what you want me to believe? Look, I just put him with Shad because he moves fast like I do. You don't understand him, that's all. I don't want to understand him. All right, kid? Fine, Chad. How many we lose? Campus, Yuma, Galvez, and Corncracker. Even five. Makes it easier, doesn't it? Yeah, I always did have trouble dividing by nine. Let's go. Why don't we camp here and show off in the morning? But Gant can't be more than an hour behind us. No, he'll be busy for a while taking care of that son of his. All right, let's make camp here.
I'm not going to scream. If that's what you were thinking. Wait a minute. You are for me yourself, or is this for the lady? Both. You can have it all, Shad. If you just take me to San Francisco. The money. The statue. And me. What about Ruiz? Forget him. <laughs> well, you're all heart, ain't you? Is there anything you wouldn't give up for that gold? Are you so different? You're just like me, Shad. We want the same things. And there isn't anything we wouldn't do to get them. What's to stop me from ditching you when the time comes? Why would you want to? It's like you said, honey, we're a couple of bullets, you and me. We'd be watching each other every minute. I'd like to ride with you today, Shad. I'd like that too, honey. But I'm traveling light today. We are going to San Francisco. You are? This is where I'm turning off. No, Shad. I got to, honey. Can you forget last night? Well, that's going to just kill me every time I think about it. But you're a mad lady. Morgan, get the two ladies up on the wagon. They're going to San Francisco. Oh, they can't make it alone, Chad. They'll make it alone or they won't get there. Now get. I told you to get, Morgan. Now move. She never was. I'm taking her back to where she belongs. That's a big trip for one man. I'm counting on making it. Are you? You're outnumbered. Take him. I said take him. I can saw. One. Arkansas? I don't know you this, Shad. Morgan, take it. <laughs> you can't lose him sometime, Clay. <laughs> Second time you've done that. I ought to be getting tired of it. Ain't you gonna kill him? How dead does he have to be? Well, I'm a telling you, you're making a powerful mistake. Well, don't tell me. I'm going with you, Clay. 
Still owe you $20. I'm a free man, Morgan. You don't own me anymore. You had a chance to kill me twice. You're going to be sorry you didn't take them. Well done, Joaquin. Well done. Clay, really believe you're returning the statue to Sonora. But you don't. We can be in San Francisco in the morning. We can. We're going back. You'll never make it back. Don't be a fool. You think the peonies will love you when you bring them back to Madonna? You don't care any more about them than I do. I care, senora. I care. You're not doing it for them. It's because of Clay. It's been a struggle with Clay ever since we started. What are you trying to tell yourself? That you are the stronger man because you're not afraid to die? Maybe it's the only way I can survive. to keep my belly full of Gantt shows. If you're the lucky one to tell him that Chad plays in Paz, he just might adopt you. some kind of a bad mistake. Frankie's my boy. Yeah, well, I, <clears throat> I kind of lost track of that when he was standing there shooting at me. Anyway, I only winged him, right? Listen, kid, I apologize. How's that? Frankie's gonna kill you, Clay. Frankie's gonna have to wait. You and me got business, Gant. Frankie don't like to wait. I promised him you. Listen, jackass, I know where there's $300,000 in gold. $300,000 in what? In gold, Gant. Now, you want to crack at that, or you just want to have Frankie here try to take that out of my hide? What do you say, Frankie? I want him. You really a pair of stupids, you know that? Did you hear what I just said to you? $300,000 in gold. That's more of a hole than you make robbing Padres the rest of your life. How do I know you ain't lying? You think I'd come here without a gun to tell you that? You promised, Paul. Shut up. I want two thirds of the hall. I got a surprise for you, Kent. You can have it all. One thing I want is Murrieta. Hey, Morgan. You know, you don't look natural riding that coach. I don't feel natural, neither. Ain't nothing natural about any of this. What ain't? 
us leaving Clay, putting it at Murrieta? I ain't putting in with Murrieta. Then what you done rumping that team? Somebody's got to look out for the ladies. There's leaders and there's tailors. You and me, we just natural tailors. What do you mean, tailors? Who are we following, him? You heard him give you an order? That's what ain't natural. He just turned us around and here we are. Enough. Let's go. Well, we just got here. He'll keep. I want Murrieta before he gets to Calabra Pass. We can mess it up some, but it won't stop horses if that's what you're thinking. Unless... Unless what? One of us was monkey enough to climb up on that ledge and chip holes in it. I'm your monkey. Come on. The only thing missing is the silver bells. What? When I was a child, the father gave me books to read about a man who loved the Keones and believed in justice. Fairy stories. He rode a black horse like the wind and wore a hat with silver bells. There ain't nobody rides like the wind. And them silver bells sure to get him a belly full of lead.
get the gold. I can get up there to tie into that fuse. We better find some way to blow it by the time he gets here. If, if we were to tie some powder sticks onto these weights. Hey. himself two hours. Oh, he'd be in Sonora before that. With what? Three men and a bunch of farmers? I see you have returned my wife, senor. I'm the Madonna del Santuario. My people should be happy. They are no longer your people, Senor Luis. I know what you're thinking. What kind of a man could create so monstrous a transaction, huh? You think it was the gold? I could have melted her to oblivion when I first saw her. If she were made of clay, I could worship her. These peonies fall on their knees before her, muttering their foolish prayers, asking her, no, begging her to cure them of a goiter or a limp. Can you compare their devotion to mine? I want only to protect her. She's a work of art. Genius created her into immortality. Just an ordinary man, Luis. One of them. So, now you have brought her back. Once it is known she is made of gold, how long do you think she will be safe here in Sonora? As long as they can defend her. Look at them. Look! How long do you think this rabble will hold off a band of raiders? They will fight against guns with their bare hands if they have to. Will they, Miriata? Will they? Did they fight for you? Maybe this time they will be fighting for themselves. Forgive me, Miguel. For what? Your failure? I have brought you dishonor. For you, I gave myself. For me? Or for the gold? You will never know. Will you, Miguel?
Hold up. Drop it. You're going to have to kill me this time, Murrieta. What are you waiting for? You can't do it. You can't do it, can you? Don't make me do it. Just say gracias. Get out. You're soft, Murrieta. You're really soft. I guess I didn't buy a big enough piece of you. Bigger than you think, Chad. It's a beautiful country. With a good piece of land, a man could make something of it. Yeah, if times were different. And if he was a farmer, which I ain't. But like I told you before, I gotta keep moving. I remember. It ain't the same as it was with Shad. With him, it's different. I know. Someday it will be worth coming back to Amigo. Joaquin Murrieta, I am overwhelmed with honor to greet you. I am Juan Pedro Rinaldo Montalva de la Cuesta. I am equally honored. <laughs> you have an admirer in my cousin, Joaquin. I would like to go along with you and your men. Though I have only accomplished 12 years, I have already a great knowledge of horsemanship. Ah, muy hombre, huh? There are many things still to be done in your village. Here? Mm. It takes more than 